क्रिसमस क्रिसमस इज जस्ट सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ बर्थडे ऑफ सैदना ईसा आलाम इट हैज नथिंग टू डू विद देयर अदर एक्सपेक्ट ऑफ अकीदा रिगार्डिंग देयर अकीदा ऑफ गॉडशिप और बींग सन एक्सेप्टिंग हिम ईसा आलाम सन ऑफ गॉड एक्सेप्टिंग हिम गॉड एक्सेप्टिंग रिगार्डिंग देयर अकीदा ऑफ ट्रिनिटी और रिकॉर्डिंग देयर क्रॉस और क्रूसीफिक्शन Christmas has nothing to do with all of these acts. Here lies our dissimilarity and difference. Christmas is just celebration of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam and celebration of the birthday of a prophet is permissible in Islam. And we also believe in prophethood and messengership of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. they may have any kind of aqeeda regarding jesus christ but the occasion of christmas is just a celebration of his birthday and this is acceptable for muslims in a way that it establishes the aqeeda of tauhid and celebration of christmas establishes the negation of his being god or son of god because the one who is born is always humble servant of god the one who is born is the creation of god he can never be a god the one who is born he can never be a god so as far as the christmas is concerned only i am talking of just one this aspect this is permissible to us this is maulid as we celebrate mauludun nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we you know we celebrate we can celebrate maulid of sayyidina abu bakr if you want there are so many maulids if you want to celebrate thousands maulid of sayyidina umar maulid of sayyidina ali maulid of sayyidina imam hasan and husain you can celebrate maulid of sayyida fatima you can celebrate maulid of sayyidina al-ghusl azam sheikh abdul qadir al-jilani you can celebrate maulid of sayyidina imam al-shazili you can celebrate maulid of imam al-rifai you can celebrate your own maulid birthday celebration of maulid is permissible in islam that's why we celebrate maulidun nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam the birthday of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam if we can celebrate the maulid of awliya so why can we not celebrate the maulid of anbiya maulid of prophets if we want we can celebrate if there was any group celebrating maulid of sayyidina musa it was no harm in celebrating it if anybody wants to celebrate maulid of Ibrahim al Islam do harm in celebrating it if anybody wants to celebrate maulid of sayyidina zakaria sayyidina yahya sayyidina no all maulid celebrations are permissible so i would like to give you two examples very interesting for you and it will enhance your knowledge and understanding of deen you know the reality of juma this is our yawmul eid juma the friday This Friday Yomul Eid is in fact the celebration of the birth of Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam. When the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked about the Friday he said fiha khuliqa Adam. This is the day when Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam was created. So his birth took place in the form of creation. He had no father and mother. so we don't use the word birth but this was his creation day and holy prophet said send the root salutations on me on friday because this is the birthday of adam alayhi salam so it is recommended to the umma for the umma of holy prophet sallallahu alayhi salam the celebration of the birthday i would say creation day of sayyidina adam alayhi salam in the form of juma it will continue to the day of judgment